This is a KITV4 News special report. Evacuation shelters on Maui opened at 9 o'clock this morning. They include the War Memorial Gymnasium in Kahului, the Lahaina Civic Center, and the Kamali'i Elementary School. Those three are all pet friendly. There's also Hana High School, Moloka'i High School, and Kilohana Community Center. For the full list of evacuation shelters in Maui County, you can go to KITV.com. Now, right now, Maui County remains under a tropical storm warning. We go now to KITV 4's Cam Tran. She joins Joins us live in Wailuku with the latest. Cam, what's the weather like there? Well, we are on top of the roof of the Maui County offices in Wailuku, and what a rare view we get here. You can see very overcast conditions late this early afternoon, and we are looking at very cloudy weather throughout the Central Valley. In fact, usually on a clear day, you would see Haleakala behind me, but all you see are cloud bands. We're looking at some major changes now that Tropical Storm Flossie is weakening, and with me this morning is Maui County Mayor Alan Arakawa. He just got out of his 11 o'clock briefing. This morning, and can you tell me what the latest is on the update with Tropical Storm Flossie, Mayor? Well, currently, uh, the latest reports are showing that the uh, flooding conditions that we had anticipated are going to be a lot less. The rainfall is going to be a little bit less, and uh, we are still going to be able to have very high winds, though uh, 25 to 35 miles an hour, sustainable with gusts up to 60. Uh, we are looking at uh, the potential of heavy surf. Uh, 10 to 12 feet surf, um, and at this point, um, the timing has moved back a little bit because Flossie seems to have slowed down. So we're anticipating that uh, we'll be hit around somewhere around three o'clock. So everything is is moving along a little bit slower, but we're prepared and we're just waiting it out. I know earlier this morning it was forecasted about six to ten inches for Maui County. What is now forecasted for this area in front of rain? Since you said it's less now. I believe they're under three inches right now, so we're, we're going to just have to wait and see. And, uh, you know, like all of weather reports and these kinds of conditions, nature has a way of de determining its own future. So we just have to be prepared for the worst and hope for, hope for the best. We did see the rain pick up earlier this morning. Have any areas seen any potential floods or significant rain so far, especially East Maui? Well, as you can see, uh, the, the fog bank has been coming and going. So all morning it's just been moving very, very quickly. And uh, Hana has some rain, but for the rest of the island, it's been fairly low. And we're hoping that um, it doesn't pick up significantly. Wait, you said the brunt of the storm expected to move in this afternoon. What should people get ready for in the next couple of hours, which are going to be crucial as the storm passes? Well, right now we're starting to feel the wind pick up. And you're going to be, have to be prepared for high winds. Uh, anything that's loose, pick it up and anchor it down. Uh, be prepared uh, to see a lot of branches and possibly trees coming down. Uh, so be careful around a lot of uh, forested areas. Have we, have we seen any problems so far yet, Mayor? Uh, so far, we've seen no problem. But then so far, Fossey hasn't hit us. We heard some power outages earlier in Kihei. Do you know what the cause of that was? Uh, no, we just got a report that there was a momentary power outage in Kihei. The electric company was able to get power back on in about nine minutes, so very minor. Uh, other than that, police have reported virtually uh, nothing uh, as far as accidents or injuries, uh, nothing from the fire department or any of the other departments. So we've been very fortunate. And real quickly, evacuation shelters open. Are people taking advantage of them right now? Evacuation shelters are open. There is no one at the evacuation shelters at this time. Uh, and that stands to reason since, um, you know, the time has been moving back. And I think a lot of people are looking at the clear, clearness of the areas rather than really heavy rains that have been anticipated. And they're not rushing off to the shelters right now. Mahalo, Mayor, for joining us live and giving us this update. Again, we are starting to feel the wind, as the mayor mentioned earlier, especially here on the rooftop. We'll keep you updated on any uh, progression as Tropical Storm, Tropical Storm Flossie makes his way across Maui County. Reporting live from Wailuku, Cam Tran, KITV4 News. And thank you. All Maui County facilities are closed today in anticipation of Tropical Storm Flossie, and this includes all county parks and offices, including the DMV, licensing offices, and satellite offices. Automated trash pickup will operate as usual.
We're also hearing from Wailuku Maui residents on the impact of Flossie. We have Tommy Russo standing by via phone for the latest. Hello, Tommy. Hello there. So tell us, what's the weather like in your specific area? Well, it's kind of coming and going. We've had a couple breaks of actual blue skies and sunshine, and we've had um, rain coming down, and we've got puddles, of, uh, you know, on the on the side of the road and whatnot. Um, that that rain bank keeps kind of floating in and out. Uh, the neighborhood that I'm on, I'm just a few doors from the ocean, and uh, the the we face the exact direction that Hana Maui faces. So um, we get that east facing swell. It looks it looks only like a foot or two right now. It's not the shore break isn't too big yet. But you can tell there's something building, but it's it's hard to tell too. It, it, at times it seems like the skies are just going to open up and turn blue again, and and uh, um, we're kind of in a weird holding pattern. It seems. It's certainly been strange seeing the sun and the rain all morning long on Maui. We've definitely witnessed that this morning. Uh, now the county is telling people to stay home. Have you seen anyone walk around, driving around, or folks just uh, basically hunkering down right now? Well, you know, I've actually seen a couple homeless folks stumbling around out of the bushes off the shoreline, and I wish I would have known about the shelters uh, a few hours ago. Um, I would have directed a few people in that direction, but um, I, I do, in this area, there are quite a few homeless um, yeah, in, in this area, and um, the shelters, I think, would help, you know, maybe a dozen or so people um, out. Um, I don't know if, there, if there's actually outreach, you know, going directly to them to let them know. Um, I don't think they're sitting around watching TV. Um, so it's hard to get the message to these folks. Well, hopefully someone can uh, let them know about those shelters. Uh, Tommy Russo, we appreciate your phone call and stay safe today. Okay, thank you. Well, coming up, we'll have more coverage of Tropical Storm Flossie and the latest from the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. As we go to break, we want to thank our viewers who've been sending us photos to the U Local section of KITV.com. This one is from Hilo, where the canoes were moved to higher ground. And a warm mahalo to Paul, who snapped the clouds moving in over Mauna Kea. You're watching a special noon edition of KITV 4 News.